we're going to use the definition of the derivative to differentiate f of x equals to tangent of 10x. Now recall the derivative is defined we call the derivative f prime of x it's defined as the limit as h approaches 0 of the difference quotient f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. Now before we proceed we will need the following three results. Result number one is the limit y approaches 0 of tangent of y divided by y equals 1. The second result is the trig identity 1 plus tangent squared of a is equal to secant squared of a and result number three is another trig identity tangent of a plus b equals to tangent of a plus tangent of b divided by 1 minus tangent of a times tangent of b. So let's proceed to find the derivative. It is a four-step process. Let's begin with step number one. Step number one is to compute f of x plus h and simplify it as much as possible. In our case, that's tangent. And then in parentheses, you have to put another set of parentheses and put x plus h there. If you don't, you'll have 10x plus h. But what we should really have is tangent of 10x plus 10h. Now, if we call this a, and if we call this b, we can apply result number 3, the trig identity, and write this as tangent of 10x plus tangent of 10h divided by 1 minus tangent of 10x times tangent of 10h. And that's all that we can do as far as step 1. There's nothing more we can do to simplify this that will help us. Let's go to step 2. In step 2, we'll take what we did in step 1, f of x plus h, subtract f of x and simplify as much as possible. So this is equal to tangent 10x plus tangent of 10h and that's divided by 1 minus tangent 10x times tangent of 10h minus f of x which is tangent of 10x. We'll further simplify this by using common denominator. So this is tangent of 10x plus tangent of 10h divided by 1 minus tangent 10x times tangent of 10h minus tangent of 10x. Let's put it over 1 and times 1 minus tangent 10x tangent 10h divided by 1 minus tangent 10x times tangent 10h. And so now we'll have a common denominator. That common denominator is 1 minus tangent of 10x times tangent 10h and in the numerator we have tangent of 10x plus tangent 10h then minus tangent of 10x times 1 will be minus tangent of 10x so these two cancel and we have plus tangent squared 10x times tangent 10h. Now we can further simplify this numerator. The two terms that are left have a tangent of 10h in common. So let's factor that out. And this gives us tangent of 10h. And when we factor that, what we have left is 1 plus 
tangent squared of 10x. And the denominator is the same, 1 minus tangent of 10x times tangent of 10h. And finally, 1 plus tangent squared of 10x is the trig identity. That's secant squared of 10x. So we can write it in the following way, tangent of 10h times secant squared of 10x. And this is divided by 1 minus tangent of 10x times tangent of 10h. And that's the end of step number number two. There's nothing we can do here. Let's go to step three. Step three, we take f of x plus h minus f of x. That's a step two, what we just did. And divide that by h. Again, simplify as much as possible. So this is tangent of 10h times secant squared of 10x divided by 1 minus tangent of 10x times tangent of 10h. And all of that divided by h. Now recall from algebra, a divided by b divided by c can be written as a over b divided by c, which is a over b times 1 over c, which is a divided by b times c. So if this is a, and that's b, and that's c, then this is equivalent to h being in the denominator multiplying 1 minus tangent of 10x times tangent of 10h. So let's write that, and that will be the end of step 3. We have tangent of 10h times secant squared of 10x, and that's divided by h times 1 minus tangent of 10x times tangent of 10h. Now let's go to step 4. Step 4 is we actually compute the derivative by taking the limit. So step number 4, f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0, f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. So this is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 tangent of 10h times secant squared of 10x divided by h times 1 minus tangent 10x times tangent of 10h. And let's break this up into two limits, the product of two limits. The first limit is the limit h approaches 0. We'll take tangent of 10h and divide that by h times the second limit, h approaches 0 of the rest, which is secant squared of 10x divided by 1 minus tangent of 10x times tangent of 10h. Now notice that it is h that is going to 0, not x. x is totally unaffected. Let's look at the second limit. As h goes to 0, 10h also goes to 0, and tangent of 10h goes to 0 as well. So the denominator approaches 1, and the whole limit is secant squared of 10x. So let's rewrite this. Now, as the second limit was computed, we'll write this as secant squared of 10x times the remaining limit, that's h approaching 0, of tangent 10h over h. Now, let's do the following. Let's multiply this by 10 over 10. And the numerator 10 we don't need, so let's rewrite this as 10, we can take it outside the limit, and we have 10 times secant squared of 10x times the limit h goes to 0 tangent of 10h over 10h. Let's make the substitution. Let's y equal to, let y equal to 10h. Note that as h goes to 0, 10h also goes to 0, y also goes to 0. 
So we can write this as follows. This is 10 times secant squared of 10x times the limit y goes to 0. The numerator now is tangent of y. The denominator is y. Note that this is result number 1 that we needed. This is a known limit. This limit is equal to 1. And so the final answer is 10 times secant squared of 10 x. And let's summarize. We had a function f of x equals to tangent of 10x after using four-step process of the definition of the derivative. We have shown that the derivative of this function is equal to 10 times secant squared of 10x. For more videos visit www.math prep videos dot com